Oh, this is uh, one shot two one seven. Uh, water zero zero two one seven on the YouTube. I'm uh, making a video of uh, Need for Speed. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry, Need for Speed the Run. This game is one of uh, one of many Need for Speeds, and I think it's a pretty good game. I recommend it to uh, anyone out there that is a fan of racing. This game is extremely long for campaign. It's uh, you're racing from Los Angeles all the way to New York City, going through many of the different cities between there even the Rocky Mountains in that time uh, I'm gonna show you uh, racing in the Rockies uh, I would show you one of my favorite missions but I can only play the chapter so I don't feel like going through all the missions to show you my favorite missions so. I'm just gonna do the overall chapter uh, I'm gonna choose uh, one of my cars right here I don't know, I have so many favorites. I'm just gonna choose one of the fastest. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna choose one of my Audi. I love my Audi. That's the best. Well, one of them. Uh, the Audi. Here it is. One of my favorite cars. I use that car in many games that I play. Alright, uh, I'm gonna show you some of the graphics that they have on this game. That is pretty amazing. Compared to uh, all the other games, the graphics of the. The terrain wasn't that good, but now the graphics of the terrain makes you feel like you're right there racing inside the cockpit of a car. Well, not inside the cockpit, like, you know, bumper, then the outside view, second person, third person. Yeah, we all get the picture. But, the only thing that I personally have a little grunge on is probably the cars. How they did on the traffic cars. They didn't put I mean, look at this terrain. Yeah, I, I'm a good driver, but in a couple of my videos, I crash to show you guys what the crash looks like. You make it, it makes it sound like I'm saying I crash, but I, I do crash, but things are on purpose. If I do crash in this video, I know I did. So, yeah, if I do crash, it's showing you an example of on the trees, like as you can cross it, like, going to a tree. But there's a couple parts that I didn't mean to crash, like a little block of the cop car later in the video. I didn't mean to crash then. But, yeah, you can get the picture. Yeah, I accidentally hit a reset button. The reset button's the select button if you're playing PS3. I resets your car. I accidentally hit again. and stuff like that and I got my controls on this. Yeah. Yes, the third person view. My favorite person is the second person right here. That's my favorite view. Uh my driving was pretty good, but I was rushing and I was looking at the clock at the time on this video. But I got a giant window to explain to this video. I mean, you can ask any of my friends that have this game. They said it was, uh, the racing's amazing. But the multiplayer is okay. Yeah, it has its, uh, it has its moments. Uh, people can be noobs and knock you off the highway when you're playing the map. It's a nice to get knocked off the highway. And if you hit the off the hard rail hard enough, it will right through it off the cliff. It's more realistic than you actually thought. Don't ask what that is.
how to get this game. When you're at the end of the race and you feel like you're about to lose, you hit the reset button and go back to the previous checkpoint and then try fixing your mistake. What I like about this game. And I actually make the reset button again if you can't be you. I do that too much. You don't, you don't want to use all yourselves. You only have five. If you use them all up, it takes away your points. You actually put your online card in your campaign. So, you don't really have to worry about much of online playing if you can't play. If you can't play, you automatically level 10. Every race you have to come in first. Also, the terrain. More about the terrain. Um, the snow and the ice on these roads are so realistic as soon as you hit a block of ice on the ground a block, you know what I mean, guys as soon as you run that over you're sliding man you, you, you lose all traction and you're just off the road you can't do nothing about it so when you're on drift corners and you can see that there's the yellow and black guardrail symbols on the guardrail that means you can go right through the yellow and black ones you gotta be extra careful on those turns slow down and drift use your square button if you're playing uh if you're playing uh ps3 square drifts e-brake you just slide around that turn first thing you want to do is just slow down a little decelerate to about uh, i would say 70 miles per hour then hold e-brake and then hit the gas right away so you get some uh some uh what's it called some traction on the snow and plus the the drift will be more full you won't slow down and stop instantly at the end of the drift like you would do in gta if you but yeah all right here's another race that i was doing this is a uh, take kind of position you have to take kind of positions in the race just like the last one so basically you are positions throughout the game you have to get to level you have to get to yeah 200 yeah, it's Chicago in the game. I think it's Los Angeles to Chicago. I mean, to New York. And you get to Chicago. That's pretty good. But your main goal is to be in first by the end of the race. And that's pretty much the whole console game. Come in first. You've got to get there first to New York. But I'm making it sound a little too good. I'm making it sound a little too good. Crazy here. I mean, you have different races. It's not one straight race all the way to New York. It's all different races. So it's not like you're driving for hours and hours and hours and hours. I mean, I would like that myself, but man, checkpoints maybe. Yeah, that would work. See the black eyes on the road. Be real careful. I would drive in the middle. Right now. Some traction. I got cops hitting me. Another thing, the cops in this game, they're pretty rough. And I think cops' cars are unrealistic compared to Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. These guys go right on ice and they ram the hell out of you. Go, you'll be going like 197 and that car, that cop car, I know for a fact it doesn't go over 100. And they'll catch up to you going 197. It seems like they'll catch up to 200 miles an hour and ram This is where I mess up. I got a phone call from my friend. It's where I messed up. I could have gotten out of this, but I was impatient. So I clicked the button. But the thing is, you have to really pay attention. I do this part about four times before I get around. Because I was trying to get past the cop car that pulled out in front of you on the right. In order to go past you, I must slow down and turn. I didn't know that, so I just ram right into it. As you saw. Yeah, these reset things get annoying after a while, but it's better than that. Here we go again. That's it, boy, you need to check out the three. Oh, this is my last time messing up. Oh. Oh, this is where I get lucky. Nope, nope, I didn't get lucky. Alright, this is where I get lucky. Sorry about that. I get very lucky on this. That's the black guys right there. So.